What's up guys, it's Shrek, and this is a tactical abomination. It's called the DLR M1. I'm trying really hard not to muzzle myself with it. This is my friend Brianna. Brianna has an incredible t-shirt that says, draw me like one of your French girls, and appears to be a sloth posing like Junkrat. However, Brianna is crazy shy, so even though she's crazy brilliant and made this awesome integration and mod, she doesn't really want to talk about it. So, I will do my very best Brianna impression. And we'll get at it like a bad habit. So, uh, what is this? Well, for starters, the core of this blaster is a rapid red. Now, you can vaguely see those lines. The rapid red has a curvature in the back that comes down, and you can kind of get a glimpse of the flywheel cage over here, and then uh, there's some other stuff. So, the only other nerfy thing that I can determine is this guy right here is a Raider Magwell, or a Rampage Magwell. I hope that you used a Raider because the Raider is far less useful at this point. Point. Then there's some switches integrated into interestingly enough places that they weren't before. So there's like grip holes here and here. Now this is a Ooh, so much power. So it's a touchy feely and then you've got a stock. Now the stock and the handle are airsoft parts as is the front end and all of that has been dry brushed and painted in such a way that it looks kind of like wood furniture and that is pretty cool in and of itself. Now then there's a barrel that's just clear PVC coming out to kind of guide these darts on their journey out through tactical good now what is this? Hard to say. It reminds me kind of of a Sten. It's got like a attachment point down here. It's got the Hales, which is Brianna and her brother Mr. Heath Pants. They've kind of mastered this art of like, instead of jam doors that flop open, they have jam doors that work on a slide. So you can see vaguely into those internals there and then you can close it back for maximum tacticalness. So. It's called the Hellcats, and then there's even a little Hellcat drawn down here on the stock because that is the motors that it's rocking. So it's rocking the Aussie Spec 180 Hellcats. Um, solid motors, they run on a 3S, which is hidden back here. I almost didn't want to show you guys this because you can see that while she has a little lock nut here to hold a stock in place, she has misplaced the butt stock. So you'd never know if I was holding it like this. However, uh, that is the current state of things. So 3S Hellcats and hidden inside here is a rapid strike pusher, which is why the <laughs> rapid red kind of bows out a little bit and there was a lot of custom that went into making this happen. So I could talk about it forever. It's got this super cool tactical mini mag with the sniper clip. Ah, it's so neat. So we're going to slap that back in, rev it up by gripping here, and then we will show you that it is in fact full auto. And I've, uh, I've mucked it up here. Just pull the barrel off by creating a tactical blowgun. You can see what happened though. I have one dart rolling on to the other dart. And they're they're pretty stuck. So Just leave it. I'll actually, <laughs> I'll hand that off. We'll take a look and I think that it'll fire without the guide. So we'll load this magazine up. I wanted to do a large full auto volley and we'll shoot something that you guys can really uh, appreciate, which is this wall since Steven is really tired of being shot. So I decided to give Steven the day off. So here we go. Tactical Abomination DLR M1 firing without its barrel. Go. <laughs> Give it a little jiggle. Excellent. All right, so that's a tactical jostling as would be happening in an SE and C war. There's a lot of moving about. So hopefully we've corrected our malfunction. And so despite a couple of the little quirks and hangups, and again, like something this custom is bound to have, it's, uh, it's character flaws, but uh, this is, wow. It's like as long now as it is forward. That's wild, but uh, this is a very cool integration of sorts. It's definitely an integration, but what makes it so neat is just the sick level of custom. You would never know that this is a Nerf Blaster if you didn't know that it was a Nerf Blaster inside. And that's kind of where Brianna's work shines. Like just like the Vulcan chain gun, you have no idea what the base blaster is just looking at it at a glance. And that makes it really, really cool. It looks like it belongs in Call of Duty's like World War II series. Series. I am a big fan of this, even though I can't decide if it's an M1 or a Sten or what. I mean, it is full auto, so 
hard to say. Definitely uh, interesting and does a really good job at the SCNC Wars, despite all of its quirks, a very effective primary. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know, comment section below. What real steel firearm does this remind you of? Because I can't choose just one. It's really a hybrid. Half, half of this, half of that. Stronger than both. So thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to check out Brianna's Instagram where she posts all of her nerfy goodness in the description box below. Much love. Nerf on. Drack out. Uh -huh.